what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel we have a question on the board which says a and b are natural numbers such that 2 to the a minus 2 to the b is equal to 2016. we are to look for the values of a and b well our first step will be for us to take into consideration what we have on the right hand side you notice that 2016 is positive so 2016 is positive and for this to be possible it goes on to show that 2 to the a must be larger than 2 to the b 2 to the a must be larger than 2 to the b now notice that this has the same base as this so it goes on to show that the power a or the exponent a is greater than the exponent b so a is greater than b that means we can write a to be equal to b plus k where k is also a positive integer so let's go ahead and substitute b plus k for a in the original equation so 2 to the a becomes 2 to the a i'm going to be writing this for a b plus k minus 2 to the b to be equal to 2016 now we're going to be applying the law of indices to this part here and the law of indices we're going to be applying is the multiplication law of indices which says when i have x to the m times x to the n this is equal to the multiplication law says we add the powers so m plus n so you notice that this expression resembles what I have here. So when I have this expression, we can write it in this form. So let's go ahead and write this expression in this form. So this becomes 2 to the b times 2 to the k. That's it. Minus 2 to the b be equal to 2016 now notice that 2 to the b is common so our next step would be for us to factor out 2 to the b so 2 to the b factored out now 2 to the b dot 2 to the k divide by 2 to the b i'm going to be having 2 to the k so this is 2 to the k minus 2 to the b divide by 2 to the b i'm going to be having 1 equal to 2016. now we're going to be splitting this 2016 that means we are going to be multiplying the factors of 2016. so this is 2 to the b times 2 to the k minus 1 to be equal to now 2016 is same as 32 times 63. So I notice that what I have here, 2 to the b is even. Why? Because 2 is even. And so whatever power I raise it, I'm still going to be having an even value. But now 2 to the k is even. But when I subtract 1 or add 1, it becomes odd. That means this expression is odd. So 32 is even, but 63 is odd. So our next step will be for us to compare the expressions on the left and the expressions on the right. So comparing, we're going to be having the even on the left, which is 2 to the b, to be equal to the even on the right, 32. 
and the odd on the left is 2 to the k minus 1 to be equal to 63 which is the odd on the right so we have two cases here so let's go with the first case first so 2 to the b will be equal to 32 in base 2 is 2 to the 5. So we notice that the left hand side and the right hand side have the same base. So because they have the same base, we're going to be equating powers. So we'll equate powers. So the power on the left is B and this is equal to the power on the right, which is 5. So the value of B is equal to 5. Now, coming to our second case, we're going to be moving this negative 1 to the right-hand side so that we have 2 to the k to be equal to 63. As negative 1 crosses to the right, it becomes plus 1. So this becomes 2 to the k equal to... Now, 63 plus 1 is 64. Our next step will be for us to write 64 in base 2. So this becomes 2 to the k equal to 64 is same as 2 to the 6. Now equate powers. Why? Because the base on the left and the base on the right are the same. So we're going to be equating the powers. The power on the left is k. And this is equal to the power on the right is what? 6. So the value of k is 6. Now we can use this information to look for a. Now recall, recall that we said a is equal to b plus k, right? Now let's substitute the values of b and k in this expression. So A will be equal to B, B is 5, plus K, K is 6. So the value of A is equal to 5 plus 6 is 11. So A and B, their values is equal to A, 11, and B, 5. And this is our final answer. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.